Alrighty, people. I had a sneezing fit before recording this because, you know, we gotta keep it real. We gotta keep it real, right? We're testing out two things here. One, I still have to finish tinkering with my new headset, mic especially, because it has a different volume on it compared to the other headset, but it is, in every other way, better than the other headset that I had. So we're testing this out. We're doing a little recording episode here because I'm still not exactly able to get the right timing to basically continue streaming so I'm, te I'm using this episode recording to test out how things go with the following little bits of farming that I'm going to be doing as well as testing out the mic to see if it behaves the way that it is because I still have to figure some things out with it to make sure that it's Gucci so this will be the first testing using this new headset mic on the recording. So we're testing two things out. Hopefully it goes well and hopefully I'm being heard clearly and it's okay. So I'm going to try to do at least 40 minutes, 46 minutes tops if I can. And we're going to be farming Forest Mage and Anubisius because last time we got Meteor Black Dragon and we were looking for one more copy of Big Koala from Anubisius and Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. And Great Moth from Forest Mage. So I'm going to be going back and forth between the two and we're going to see if we can get lucky because, let's be honest here, this mod has given me a lot of good luck. Like, I'm talking massive luck because I've gotten three copies of Meteor Black Dragon pretty quickly. It was interesting. So. Yeah, and it's been a while since I played this game. Literally, last time I played this game was the last time I streamed, which was February 20th. So yeah, a while. But yeah, there's just a lot going on, so I'm just trying, you know, to get the content out there when I can. But I think I'm most likely going to just keep trying to do recordings for now until I am sure that I can actually get a stream done. Because there's just a lot going on, and I just do not have either the right headspace to do it, or the energy to do it, or just the time. Because, you know, life comes first, you know, you can't do much about it. So, that said, we're gonna start off with the Forest Mage, I think. Because I kinda, I kinda need to get back into the groove. It has been a bit. And I'm hoping everything runs smoothly right now with how things are. Um, I need to also get back into the rhythm here, so. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think I can do this. Yeah, it's been it's been so long that I need to get used to the controls again and everything. So hopefully it runs well. It doesn't lag or anything like that, and it goes smoothly. Kind of have to press the controller a little bit harder than I would like. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't lag for you guys, because technically I should have restarted my laptop. But... I didn't. <laughs> so there's that. I should have restarted, honestly. But I was like, you know what, that's gonna waste time, and time is so precious. So how about no? How about we just do it, and then just hope it goes well, you know? Let's take a look here. All right, but yes, we are going back as usual. Whenever we farm, we go back in 200 FPS mode. You know, it's 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 just how it is. It is playing a little bit slower than the usual 200 FPS mode. But it's it's fast enough. Like I'll, I'll say that it's it's fast enough. So now we have the boost because the two red eyes on the field. So this one's going to be thirty eight hundred. But it's decently fast still, so we should be fine. Let's just try to see how much we can cover, and we should be Gucci. Ooh, he's tanky. It's kind of, it's fast, but it's also kind of struggling. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we got the victory, so it's okay. But yes, I am going to be trying whenever I get the chance to f to tinker a little bit with um, 
the the settings for the mic because I've had to actually use the gain volume in Streamlabs to make it go up. The other mic didn't need to be boosted, so I thought it was kind of weird. I kind of forgot that it happens. Whoops. I kind of just wanted to throw them away. But yeah, hopefully it is good. The spot that I have it at is also good and you know, we'll go from there. But yeah, I definitely have missed streaming. And the other thing I got to test out as well is this mic compared to the other mic. It is able to be also used for the PlayStation. So essentially, it's going to sound much better than the PlayStation mic that I had before. And it's all in all a much comfier headset to wear. So whenever I get the chance, I will continue PlayStation streaming as well. Continue Hogwarts Legacy, Dark Souls 3, you know, the playthroughs that we had going on before the, the long break. But hopefully things have been good for you guys. We're trying, that's all we can say really, we're trying. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get interrupted because this is very early right now that I'm doing this recording. I'm talking really early, like this is 10 a.m. So Emily is around, all that stuff. I do enjoy how things went down with this game, like, it's, it's insane. The luck, it's just a wonderful, fun mod to play, and the card drops are so generous. Like, it was pretty good. I liked it, I enjoyed it a lot. Definitely in my top four favorite mods. It's, it's really fun with the effects, especially very, very, very fun. Out of all the effect mods that I've played, I think this is my favorite effect mod. And that said, I only played Ghost as an effect mod. <laughs> Ghost was pretty fun though. But yeah, we're gonna switch over to Anuvisius very soon. But yeah, it is kind of going decently fast, so I'll take it. Ooh, good thing it was in defense mode. Doomdozer. And from what I saw, the final six looks very not so difficult, because again, without actually farming for spells like I usually do, I was able to make it all the way to beating five no, four opponents of the final six without getting all the Meteor Black Dragon copies like I have now and without any spells whatsoever that I actually had to S-Tech farm for. So, yeah, it's it's very generous. It's not a, a complicated mod. It's, it's I, like I said, it's, it's fan service, what I like to call it. Literally a fan service mod. Let me get these out of the way so we can set up properly because he is a little bit more difficult and we're gonna need Meteor Black Dragon for this pattern in particular. So we need to set up properly or lose on purpose. Yeah, we're gonna lose on purpose, it's fine. Like they start really, they start a lot with this pattern. So we have to make sure that we start with Meteor Black Dragon at the start and now we're gonna be fine. Otherwise, we just gotta restart, start again like usual, and just not waste time, you know? So hopefully we can get some kind of luck, and we can get one of the cards. At least one copy. Like, like my objective right now is to try to get at least one. Now, since he starts with Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth all the time on the first turn, I'm gonna use Magical Hats. Ooh, that's even worse. Bye. So yeah, either one more copy of Big Koala or, you know, 
perfectly ultimate great moth. And then my objective for this recording is done, basically. Because he's gonna. This is the hard pattern here. There, the one thing this mod has taught me is that the hard pattern shows up very, very frequently. If you thought Alpha mod Kaiba with his obelisk pattern every single turn was bad, this mod with its hard pattern of High Mage Atenza and Anubisius, that's the hardest percentage rate of hard patterns I've ever seen. Like every duel, it's Meteor Black Dragon on the field, or it's Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth on the first turn. So their hard patterns are hard in this mod. But again, you know, it's well balanced, because this mod is not exactly difficult. It's not very difficult. It's just certain parts are difficult, and certain parts are not. Right now, they are taking a little bit to beat me. I kind of want to... Thank you. There you go. Alright, so let's see... If we can start good, and then we're basically good. Oh, I got stuck a little bit. There we go. See, now we're fine. First turn, this on the field, we're Gucci. That's all we need. Which is why I had to get Meteor Black Dragon from Atenza. This is exactly why. So that way I could farm Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth from him as extra, you know, extra safety for the final six. But yeah, this is the first win. Let's see if we can get Big Koala. Or the Moth. Another Hell Centipede, the Dust Kangaroo. You have a lot of Dust Kangaroos. Like, I mean, I mean a lot of Dust Kangaroos. Let's stall with this. See if we can get an easy pattern out of this. There we go, that's one. Sure, why not? I can wait. I can't stall for too long though, or else it's gonna mess with the ranking. Okay, I can do this to set myself up for next turn. Okay, that's the second one destroyed, but not... this one's fused. Okay, uh... Let's do this. Activate this, and we're going to not attack. We're Gucci, 4700 attack points. I don't know if I can get an S rank anymore, but it depends. Because I have to. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna bait the trap card. And we might be able to get an A. I'm hoping. But next turn we have Meteor Black Dragon. There we go. I don't know if I can get an A, but we might. We might be able to. I kind of maybe have stalled too long, but we'll see. This should help. Look at that. See how that pattern just shows up whenever? Like, you're not safe. Yep, it was a C. If I, if I got that a little bit earlier, then it would have been it would have been fine. Okay. We throw these away so we can get red eyes. Because that is the objective of this strategy. Just stall and try to get Meteor Black Dragon on the field. If I get it now, I'm good. Uh nope. Okay, we're gonna have to lose. This is not going to be an S rank. And we start over. That's pretty much, you know, the usual thing that we do. 200 FPS mode, music, because... You know, the farming music, I've heard it so much that it kind of bores me. So I like listening to 
this music while we FPS farm and also the music is completely fucked up when you, you know all the life points <laughs> feel free to attack me, I don't care oh, an easy pattern I can work with this Maybe I can still get an S. Because I still have up over 7,000 life points, so there's a high possibility. This is a very good start. I might be able to get an S. Because you're, you're allowed to lose life points as long as it's over 7,000. You're Gucci. Yep, I was right. That works. <laughs> Stalling and using life points to my advantage. Fantastic. Okay, we have one ingredient for both fusions that we're looking for. So let's see, either a red eyes or a big koala. And we're good. Or that! Yeah, I think this is an easy pattern. So, the rare, but again, you know, don't be discouraged or, or don't be too, you know, careless because on the second turn, he might still summon perfectly ultimate great moth. Like that. See, like this, this, this mod has made a Tenza and an Obisius and their patterns for summoning their strongest card really high percentage to so that even if it doesn't start off on the field the second turn or third turn it'll be used and then it just throws you off and you lose so you know it fools you it it can fool you definitely but i've gotten the hang of it i gotten used to it pretty quickly because i was like whoa this is new. Another cocoon, another desk kangaroo. Alright, I'm still looking. I mean, here's the thing. Big Koala is a two power drop. But again, I got them so fast. Look at this. Three meteor black dragons. This is beautiful. We are Gucci. And of course, the best part is having Mars and this card as 3,900 attack points. And the effect that it has makes it strong enough to beat Big Koala. So we no longer have an issue against uh, Master of Oz. I mean, because it always has the Mars boost to be strong enough to destroy it, which I also love. I got another Desk Kangaroo, didn't I? Shield Crush. Six shield crushes. Yep, that's another Desk Kangaroo. Like, I love it. I love it. My only complaint in this mod, like I've said many times, the only complaint I have about this mod is the colors for the letters of the cards. With some of the card background colors, some colors that were used are horrible to look at. It doesn't match. It doesn't make sense. So the col the card coloring, um, the letters of the cards, some of them are fine. Some of them just do not fit. Like, no. That's my only complaint about this mod. Everything else is just fantastic. Love it. Yeah, it was not going to be safe for me to attack with that one. So we're Gucci. Win next turn. Fantastic. Extra boost on top of boost. If I get one copy, I will be so happy. 
Oh my, the rare B rank. That's rude. The very rare occasion where you get a B instead of an A when normally you would have gotten an A. Doesn't matter because we started like this, so we're good. We are Gucci. Wonderful start. Beautiful. Now, of course, there is something that I forgot to do. I, I usually do a prediction. So I think I'm going to do the prediction right now. We, I think, just got like 64 wins. I'm going to predict before I reach 80. Because of how much I've had such a good luck getting the important cards that I needed. Um, I'm going to predict before I reach 80 wins, I will get the first copy of Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. I'm predicting it now. And for Big Koala, I will make the same prediction. Before 80 wins, I'm gonna get one or the other. The final copy of Big Koala and the first copy of Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. I'm doing it now. I'm calling it. It's gonna happen. I'm confident. This is a trickier start. We have a setup here for two different fusions that we're looking for. That works! We drew both of them! So I can make Master of Oz. And next turn I can make Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Let's go! And uh, yeah, by the way, this is the first mod that I've been able to use, Master of Oz. I have never had Master of Oz ever in my entire life in my deck, or the ability to make the fusion in my deck. Ever. But I like it. It was an unexpected surprise, because I was going to go for Cyber and Dragon, but, but farming for Cyber and Dragon in this mod is not good. I would not recommend it. Berserk Dragon, same thing. Because both of those cards have become S-Tech drops. S-Tech. No thank you. Oh no, the rare B rank. How rude. So yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a replacement for that. And I surprisingly found my replacement. Let's throw these cards away and hopefully it doesn't mess with my ranking. Perfect. Let's take advantage. That is fantastic. There we go. So now we're Gucci for when he summons the surprise perfectly ultimate great moth. Unless this actually is the rare easy pattern that we never see. Oh, uh, wait. It can still be pulled out in the third turn if he's still alive. I don't think it will be. Nah, he won't. Bye bye. Beautiful. Surprisingly, I beat him fast enough. Another cocoon. I, I saw a red text. I thought it was Great Moth. And then I remembered he doesn't give me Great Moth. The low mage gives me Great Moth. <laughs> The forest mage gives me great moths. <laughs> this one just gives me the big koala. Or the moth. I should still be able to manage to get the ranking. I 
I think. Okay, let's see. If not, it's a B. I guess I can do this to help my life points and hope that works. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of B ranks that I should not be getting. I wasted three wins there. I'm still staying with I'm sticking with my prediction. I'm going to stick with my prediction. Alright, we're going to lose this one. It's been a while since we've had to lose on purpose. That's okay. Oh, I drew it late. Sadness. Beautiful. I don't even need to boost it, honestly. I should just boost my secondary cards. Oh, never mind. Fine. The other thing I like about this mod is if your monster is stronger, even if it's 4,000 attack points, it'll go in defense mode. They don't, they don't make it go into attack mode to make you think you can still, you know, be wrong about what monster that is. So it's interesting. Shield crush. This works. That's good, it wasn't a stronger monster. Let's see how things go. Check here. Just get this. Actually, I don't think I even needed to do that. Another dust kangaroo. 70, we got 10 more to go. Hell centipede. Shield crush. Wonderful if I could get that card, honestly. Ooh, that's a good start. But yeah, the other thing about this mic, hopefully it's not moving down because it's like seems to be moving down a little bit, so hopefully it's not moving down, and hopefully my voice is still captured fine and it's not far away. It's a very, from what I notice, it's a very position-based mic. Like it could be in front of you, it could be next to your face, but certain spots the volume is low, certain spots it's not. The only issue is I can't put it in front of my mouth because when you talk there's wind 
you know, there's you're blowing air out of your mouth, and it, it, it captures that, so it sounds like I'm just, you know, like, you, like I have it in front of a fan. So I move it a little bit higher up. So that way, you know, it doesn't bother. So hopefully it's good. I'll be checking this before I upload this on YouTube. Um, and we'll see if it sounds good. If not, we'll just take this as a work in progress. We do have to test things out with this mic and, and try to get the right sweet spot. So in the meantime, we'll just continue testing and see how it goes. Because for some reason, if I put it in a different spot, it just... the volume just goes down. Lose on purpose here, come on. That's perfect, actually. Ring of Destruction. That reminds me, the final six has Ring of Destruction and Mirror Force. So I have to beat them as fast as possible and make sure they don't place trap cards. And if they do, Harpy's Feather Duster. Alright, one more turn. Come on, one copy. Got eight wins left for my first prediction. Okay, this works. It's a good start. But yeah, and I'm also getting these cards so that when I go into my S Tech farming process, I am okay. Because, you know, you need individually strong cards to, to properly survive until you finish all the strategies that you gotta do to get your S Tech result. So having all of these separate strong cards to stall while I do my my usual process is very good. Like it's it's definitely something that's needed. So that's also why I'm trying to get at least one or two perfectly ultimate great moth copies and great moth copies so I can do fusions into it for that process as well. Because you do have to do 15 initiate fusions for the process that I do to get Estex, and that was wasted as well. I think I wasted four duels, so technically the prediction is going to be 84. I have to do four more wins for it to be proper. Wow, that's an interesting start. I'll take it. Because yeah, there were a couple of surprise B ranks that were supposed to be A ranks. So I'm going to put four more onto it. There we go. Two fusion summons and then bam, we get the original card. Fantastic, people. Fantastic. And they all get boosted. All the pyrotypes get boosted. It's so nice. It's so cool that they added these effects for the favorite cards. The favorite main cards that people would use, you know, to beat the game. It's pretty cool. This one's a little bit of a rough start. Start with this, go for the best. Ooh. Alright, we got it just in time. I can also use Soul of the Pure to get back my life points to still manipulate the duel into giving me the S rank. Case of elite. 
There we go. I could still get an A. I could. If I draw Raigeki, I'll take it. Actually, no. I can manipulate my life points now. I did draw Raigeki. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is funny. I could still manipulate this. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, I manipulated it just right. I can also make it exactly within the given amount of time that I was going to be recording. I'm keeping this as backup. But yeah, hopefully everything is Gucci, everything sounds Gucci. I'll use this to stall. Guess I'll have to get this on the field. I'm glad it was a weak card. I might get an A, I'm not sure. 200 life points left, wow. Okay. Hopefully I can still get an A here. Because I didn't start strong. Well, I did, but I didn't contain... There we go, that still worked, okay. I made it. Fantastic. Wait. Gotta throw away some cards, you know, get some setups going for the hand. Fantastic. I can destroy that. I remember. I remember. Uh, I can't summon anything here. This is gonna be weak. Hmm. Alright. Let's see if this works. It's a little weak, but I might still get an A with this. It should be enough to win the game. I hope it didn't matter. Thank you. Damn, it might. It, I gotta go to 84, by the way, so. But still, it's not looking good. I gotta get to 84 wins. Hopefully, I can make it, because I also need to eat soon. Okay, this works. I can do a good turnaround here, and I have Regeki to set up. We got this. We've got this. Perfect! Yes! Good comeback. Fantastic. This is Gucci. I can summon whatever next turn, increase my attack factor. Go! Yeah, this perfectly ultimate Great Moth has taken a while. Like, it took me longer than Meteor Black Dragon. Like, it's like, uh-uh, I ain't gonna be that easy. And there is the interruption. This is why I do not stream during the day. Okay, this is not a good setup here. We're gonna have to lose on purpose or stall and see what happens.
Yeah, we're gonna lose on purpose here. Start again. If he would summon a monster to attack me. Jesus. starting as good as we need to start, but we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, I equipped the wrong card. Whoops. We might be able to save this attempt. Maybe. Another wasted B attempt. Rip. That's just terrible. We have five more S rank wins to go and then we're done.
this is a very rare easy pattern. I'll take it. Alright, I can do one more because food is ready, so I'm gonna do one more and then we're gonna call it. And then we did another one, so we're doing all the five extra ones. Let's go. Alright, we didn't get anything, but at least we tried. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut this short, because I'm gonna have to go, because apparently food is in. Sure, of course, you know, whenever you don't record, stuff goes normally, and then when you record, things happen, you get interrupted. So, I will catch you guys next time. I'm gonna continue doing recordings when I can. Streaming is gonna be random. We're gonna see how it goes. But you guys take care, hope you enjoyed it, and hope that my quality is Gucci, because I'm still gonna be experimenting with it and testing it out. Catch you guys later!